Intentional living. Hi, this is Dee Powell, and this is day two of my 30-day challenge to do a Facebook Live every day for 30 days. I'm going to, says, we're live, we're building an audience for you, so I'm going to wait to see if uh, any people come on. Now, I said in my, I, 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 my post that I'd be on between 8 and 8.30, so my mouth is dry today. So I'm going to um, wait just for a minute to see if anybody comes on. Anyway, if not, that's okay too. <laughs> but, uh, nice. Oh, here's somebody. Hi, thanks for joining. I see the <laughs> thumbs up. I like those thumbs up. The thumbs up and the hearts. Anyway, so I wanted to come up with a topic for tonight. Something that, um, you know... Uh, I think is important. And, you know, I've had this book on my shelf for a few months, and I keep telling myself I'm going to read it. I ordered it online a few months back, and I kept saying, I'm going to read this book, I'm going to read this book. Well, now that I'm doing the treadmill every day, so my 30-day challenge is, is for the treadmill as well as for the Facebook Lives, because I'm going to do my... my um, I'm going to do my treadmill every day um, and then go take my shower and then come back out and do a Facebook Live. That's my, uh, otherwise if I don't have some type of routine, I won't be consistent with it and I won't, I'll give it up. Anyway, so I decided that I'm going to start reading this book and what I did today was I read the book while I was walking on my treadmill. So the book is called Intentional Living by John C. Maxwell. And it's been something that I've been wanting to read for quite a while. And I thought maybe I would, um, you know, maybe sit here and read the book to you. But I think that would be boring, so I don't want to do that. But um, I'm only in still the first chapter. It's a pretty long chapter, actually. Um, but uh, what I did want to um, share with you is, let me get to it. Here it is. There's a couple of quotes in the book that I wanted to get to. And intentional living. To be significant, all you have to do is make a difference with others wherever you are, with whatever you have day after day. <laughs> and then the other quote is, when you intentionally use your everyday life to bring positive change in the lives of others, you begin to live a life that matters. So, um, you know, it, it's, you don't have to be, you know, stuck. You don't have to be uh, stuck in your circumstances, basically. Um, all my life, you know, I've always felt like, who am I? Who am I? Who am I to, um, you know, who am I? I'm just a little, you know, I'm just me. That's it. I'm just me, you know. But I can make a difference. And everyone can make a difference in the lives of those around them. And um, whether it's your family or your neighborhood or your church community or, um, you know, your business associates, your job, wherever you are, um, you know, you can, you can, you can make a difference and you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be like this, this great person, you know, each and every one of us, you know, whenever we start something new or where, wherever we go, you know, or do something for the first time or something, you're not going to be great at it, you know? Um, but if you keep going and keep going and never give up and never give up, you know, eventually you're going to get better. You're going to get better and better. You're going to get better every every day as long as you put forth your best effort, you know, and, and give it all you've got, you know. Not just try it, but just put your all into it and, and things are going to get better. So, anyway, so this is my day two. And I just wanted to share a little bit about that. I'm going to read the quote again. To be significant, all you have to do is make a difference with others wherever you are, with whatever you have, 
day by day. You don't have to be, you know, you, you don't have to be like some uh, rock star or big football player or, you know, you can make a difference in other people's lives intentionally by being the best version of yourself, by being the best you can be every day and just giving of yourself, you know, and going out of your way to just to help people, you know. When you intentionally use your everyday life to bring about positive change in the lives of others, you begin to live a life that matters. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my video and I will um, see you tomorrow. Take care.